Hello, my name is uh, Julie Lovdrup and I'm the first secretary of the Norwegian Trade Union. And today I'm going to speak about one of the most important tools for trade unions, social dialogue. For our task as a trade union is to get the best results for our members. And in order to achieve that, we must work both directly at the workplaces of our members to manage negotiations and to handle individual and collective challenges our members meet there. But we must also manage a continual social dialogue with the government and with employers. That way we can shape society to our members' needs, not just today, but in the long run. Politics is where the framework for life is made. Because of that, politics can never be something for someone else. Parties, other parts of civil society, etc. Trade unions need to participate in order to do the best job possible for our members and achieve long-term results. Efficient social dialogue is all about being around all of the time. Do you want to organize a demonstration, a social media campaign, or uh, come around and talk to politicians when budgets, budgets are voted through? That's great. But for these measures to be efficient, it has to be in addition to the continually social dialogue. Then people will listen also when you have these extraordinary uh, activities. Social dialogue is all about trust. Trust is made through knowledge, predictability and stability. Having regular risk scheduled meetings between the social partners, unions, employers and the government ensures mutual understanding even when the partners disagree. Because we learn to know each other and are able to predict and understand each other's points of view. Regular formal contact also enables spontaneous informal contact when it is needed. It becomes natural to call people from the employers or from the government when something happens, instead of it being an obstacle. Then information can be shared, alliances built, opinions discussed and issues can be resolved more easily. Continually social dialogue and repeated negotiations will motivate everyone to not trick each other. You will be speaking and negotiating with these people and organizations and institutions again and again and again for decades to come. So even if uh, tricking someone might create a small victory today, it will ruin all chances of influence in upcoming processes. This long-term dynamic makes trusting your partners and being trustworthy yourself a completely rational behavior. The social uh, dialogue partners will have legitimate uh, different interests in a number of issues, like wage levels. But on other issues, we can have the same interests, like supporting green industries. And on other issues, Dialogue can result in compromises and giving each other victories when needed. Knowing each other will help you sort out which is which. Can we reach a compromise here? Is this a small victory we can give to the other partners in return for good uh, relationship long term? Or does this call for industrial action? Is this a disagreement that we have to use all our potential power to, um, uh, to get a victory. And all of these alternatives will be relevant at different times. The key is to know what applies where. Uh, working simultaneously at the workplace and the political arena makes us stronger in both places. Elle of Norway has worked for many years to strengthen the Working Environmental Environment Act. The Act gives our members rights and regulations at the workplace and other shop stewards uh, tools in their work. 
our members shape our policies regarding what needs to be changed in the act and through social dialogue and political work. We communicate these proposals to political parties and government agencies. When successful with this on the political arena, our members and shop stewards are better prepared to handle specific challenges locally. And then they can use that experience from that work to tell us in Elle of Norway how the act can be even better. What proposals should we make uh, next time to strengthen the act? Our political work and our social dialogue uh, will always be at its best if it's rooted locally and based on real-life experiences from our members. Trade unions are always in it for the long run. Our members' lives and working lives happen in the long run. We can never aim for short-sighted victories, especially if they ruin social dialogue and make it harder for us to achieve progress in the years to come. Therefore, being trustworthy, stable partners is the best, best long-term strategy for fighting for our members' interests. Creating a good framework and solutions for work life at large creates good working conditions for our local shop stewards and enables them to do the best job possible for each and every one of our members. Thank you.